Hello horror fans, and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. In this episode I'm going to start work on the Iridescent Age, where I have to earn 15 emblems of iridescent quality with either Killer or Survivor. So I'm going to start with Nancy, because I have a couple of Survivor daily rituals that I want to get done. And one is for Nancy, the other one's just to heal people. So I'm going to see if I can achieve both. For perks, I'm going to use Kindred, so that way I can see where everyone else is when someone's hooked, and they can see where each other is when I'm hooked. I'm going to use Inner Strength, which allows me to heal in a locker after I break a totem. I'm going to use Will Make It, which allows me to heal people faster. And I'm going to use We're Gonna Live Forever, so that way I get added blood points for safely unhooking survivors. Alright, the Rotten Fields. I've got a generator, and I've got a box right next to me, but the first thing I really want to find is a totem. Because I want to make sure that I have my ability to myself. <laughs> oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Alright, so we're facing a doctor. Good to know. As I said, I want to find a totem so I can break it and get my uh, inner strength set. I've not really used inner strength before, and so I'm sort of determining if I like it or not. Um, I have to say, already, I'm saying I like, uh, the normal healing with self-care better, because I had to find a totem which took time. So even while self-care takes a little bit longer to heal, I can do it whenever I want, and I didn't have to go find the totem in order to do so. Alright. Oh, we got a totem broken. Now let's get on a gen. Start helping out the team some. Alright. Okay, he, I think, is using the king add-on. Yeah, which makes the skill checks go backwards. Yeah, I was the first one to make an explosion, so I'll chase him off here. Or not. Yeah, these backward skill checks are really hard. Can't say I blame her in the slightest. They are incredibly hard to hit. Alright, she did get downed. He had overcharge. Good to know. Now the question will really be... Alright, I'm going to get the unhook. I would like to be able to heal, but I'm not going to be able to right now. Alright, 
he got that save. Darn it. Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit with that. Don't want to go over towards them. So I'm just going to try to get into the corn here. Make it as hard as possible to hit me. I need to run from a killer for 120 seconds anyways, so the corn actually is going to be very helpful in that. Okay, he did get that hit off. And there wasn't much else I could do. Why did you go back down? Don't go back down. <laughs> Okay, thank you. That's her death, sadly. Thank you, I appreciate the heal. We're not going to finish this heal in time, I think. Oh, we are. All right. Nice. Thank you. I do actually want him to chase me some is the hard thing here because I'm wanting to uh, get the daily ritual done. But for right now, I'll go up here. That was not what I intended, but all right. I have to say, those backward skill checks don't really do much. Okay, that was gutsy on his part. I'm going to go over and work on a generator.
It's far enough away that it did not hit me. Alright, I've got will make it. Do you want me to heal you? I'm going to search this chest because I might as well get the extra points. We are not getting out of here, so. I think the hatch should have spawned at this point, but I'm not positive. I play a lot more killer than I do survivor, so I'm not really certain. So as it stands, I'm going to break this totem, get the points for that. There's the hatch. Yeah, I missed the overcharge, the overcharge skill check. I tried to press it down, but I didn't get it. Oh well. That's actually my first hook. Not good. Yep. And I don't have decisive strike. Yep. 
best I can do. Hope I get you. Nope. All right. Well. Purgation. I've switched out uh, the locker perk for self care because I played a game that lasted only a few minutes because my teammates would unhook me and then just run away without healing at all. So I was left to try to find a totem, couldn't find a totem. And died fairly quickly. Now here's the irony of I found a totem. Alright. I'm going to get the points for breaking totems still. But I don't trust the partners or anything well enough to... Uh, Kill me. So I think I'm back to using self care. All right. Got somebody down. And actually, I care more about healing and so on than I do about generators. Where did they go? Wow, she got her all the way down to the basement. Not good. Let me heal you. Let me heal you. I have the fast heals. Meg, seriously. Stop running away. Ay, was that that hard? Now I'm finding all the totems, now when I don't need them. But you know what? I'll get the points for them still. I'm fine with that. Oh, that's not good. Jane, calm it down.
All right. Great. So you gotta put it into the basement. Again. We're gonna run all the way to this back area again, aren't we? Yes, we are. Hopefully she's not using nurses, but that's sort of a silly hope to hope. All right, you are welcome. I'm running into stuff. Yeah, you got me. I much prefer playing my sneakier version like I just did there. I find I can get safe unhooks, I can heal people. It works out much better for me. Alright. Why me? I dodged her once. Don't know how I did. Not gonna tempt my fate by trying again. Great. Sorry about this, but it's all I can do. Yeah.
rather get on this and give us a chance of getting out of here. Darn it. Does she pick her up or does she pick the other one up? Oh, you haven't healed. believe you hadn't healed. All right. Tell me you're at least doing a door. you're doing something here I don't even know where the other door is here. No, it is not. Okay, I have no idea where the door is. Probably I'm going to die. You know what? I did good work for the team. That's all I can hope for is that that good work was good. That door is closed. So that means that the only door is the one that's over here. Probably right by the nurse, yep.
Thank you, nurse. Oops. Didn't mean to escape like that. I was gonna let her hit me there at the end. <sighs> and we completed both daily rituals. Nice. So, out of those two rounds, I was able to get three iridescent emblems, which is really actually better than I expected playing Survivor. Um, I will probably get the other 12 playing Killer the next day or two, because I just feel much more confident playing Killer. If you didn't notice in the video, I probably sounded a bit worried and scared at different points there, because of the fact that I am. <laughs> I, I do get jump scared playing Survivor, and in some ways that's fun, but at the same time, I definitely don't feel as confident as I do when I'm playing killer. So, if you enjoyed the video though and you liked watching me run around being scared, please go ahead and click that like button. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're notified when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all in the fog.